News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. I'm meteorologist Kenny Miller. Let's go ahead and look at our storm team radar here. We are seeing mostly cloudy skies across the state. Some snow showers are trying to build back towards the Bismarck and Dickinson area. Some light snow flurries up towards Minot as well. And those snow showers will continue through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning as well. Your temperatures have dropped to well below zero across the state. We are 10 below in Medina right now, 13 below up in Minot. Seeing some mid 20s below up towards the northwestern part of the state is 24 below in Plentywood right now, and those temperatures will continue to drop through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. Your winds right now are primarily out of the northwest, anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. Some of those stronger gusts are out towards the west, 20 miles per hour in Beach, 22 in Bowman, even 20 miles per hour down in Ashley right now. With those winds, it's dropping those wind chills down into the 30s and the 40s below across the state. Here is your absolute comfort plumbing and heating windshore report. It's showing those feel like temperatures is already 49 below zero up in Crosby and unfortunately it's just going to continue to drop through the night and into tomorrow morning as well. Going ahead and look at your wind gust forecast. This is starting tonight at midnight. As we roll through here tomorrow morning, you can see some of those wind gusts really pick up across the southern portions of the state, possibly seeing some of those 40 or 45 mile per hour gusts during the morning hours tomorrow. And this might give us the chance for seeing some whiteout conditions if that snow cooperates and we do see some snow during the morning hours. But those gusts should begin to die down just a little bit as you push into the overnight hours on Sunday, maybe some 25 or 30 mile per hour gusts lingering in central and eastern portions of the state. But even 15 or 20 mile per hour our winds is going to make those wind chills drop dramatically because of those cold temperatures that we are going to be seeing. If you look at our wind gust forecast for the next few days, this is tomorrow morning at 1030 in the morning, so almost midday. We're seeing pretty uniform 45 to 50, maybe even some spots in southwestern North Dakota. You might see some 60 below zeros with those wind chills. So this is one of those situations where if you do have plans for tomorrow, maybe consider altering them. Go out tonight or even maybe on Sunday. Keep your pets indoors tomorrow, especially with these whiteout conditions we might see because of the snow showers. It's definitely going to be one of those situations where you want to think about safety first above all else. Make sure you have a kit in your car, blankets, all that good stuff, just in case the worst should happen. As you push into Sunday, this is Sunday at 1230 in the afternoon. We're a little better overall seeing those mid 30 belows across the state, so not out of the woods yet as you roll into Sunday, even into Monday. However, as you get to Tuesday morning, we're starting to see some of those 20s pop up below zero, so gradually getting there as you push towards the middle stages of next week. As you roll into Wednesday, however, you're seeing some positives finally pop up on that windshield graphic here, so looks like we have a few more days to go before we finally get out of this deep freeze. Our high temperatures tomorrow are going to be below zero across the state, still seeing a high of 12 below in Medina, 17 below in Garrison, maybe even some 20 belows out towards the west for your highs tomorrow. Our precision cast is showing those chances for snow showers persisting through the overnight hours and into tomorrow. We aren't expecting much in the way of an accumulation, maybe a half an inch, maybe an inch in some spots, and this is due to the really cold temperatures that we're seeing. It's just really hard to get, to get those levels of moisture needed to see any really kind of accumulations here. As you push into Sunday, you are seeing some clear skies down towards the south and the west. Not much of a snow chance through Sunday and into Monday. The next best chance of snow might be midweek next week. We will keep our eye on that for you. Williston's five-day forecast is showing those below zeros over the next few Day. Saturday will be your coldest day of the next five and jumping back into the positives as you push towards Tuesday. Dickinson, same trend. We jumped from four below for a high on Monday to 16 above zero as you push into your Tuesday. Minot seven day forecast again, much of the same trend, seeing 12 below for a high tomorrow, six below for a high on Monday, pushing into those positives as you roll into Tuesday and Wednesday and Bismarck. The coldest day is tomorrow, but look at that. We're seeing some tens and twelves definitely in the definitely on the warmer track as you push towards oh the middle goodness. of next week, I don't, Taylor. I don't think that's warmer though, Kenny. Comparatively. Like, okay, I guess so. That was, <laughs> that's going to feel like a heat wave yes, as we will. head into next week, right? <laughs> For sure. Thank, Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kenny. Coming up next on KX News at 6,